views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. My name is Thomas Sekinegbe, president of Bronx Community College. I want to welcome all of you to the annual performance of the Handel Messiah on our campus. This year, due to COVID-19, we were unable to physically be on our campus for the performance. But due to the creative performance of our maestro, you're going to be watching the show as if you were watching it last year. I want to use this opportunity to thank our sponsor for ever helping us produce this show annually. At this point, I want to hand you over to our maestro, Mr. Michael Spearman. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you for your great hospitality when we are here and your hospitality now. We are presenting last year's musical performance of Messiah due to the virus. However, we are going to invite each of the readers to present their reading afresh this year. So you will have a mixture of last year's performance and new readings. I also want to say how grateful we are for our long and wonderful, cherished relationship with BronxNet. Thank you, President Iskanebgi. Thank you, Maestro Spearman. Some of our favorite events happen on this very campus, including the Orchestra of the Bronx and the Bronx Opera Chorus performing Handel's Messiah. And we at BronxNet Television, the public service multimedia network of the Bronx, without interruption, continue to broadcast vital news information, health updates, educational programming, voter literacy programming, and more. And we are proud to partner with the Bronx Opera Company and the Orchestra of the Bronx and Bronx Community College to present to you Handel's Messiah. Take it, maestro. <laughs>
My name is Adriana Prela. I am a student at the City College of New York and have been participating in the Messiah since 2015. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill made low. The crooked straight, and the rough places plain.
everybody Michael Hinman here from the Riverdale Press as you can see I'm all dressed up for winter I'm all ready for everything we have and I'm doing this from home because that's where we're all supposed to be right we're all supposed to be home right now but thank you so much for supporting the arts here in the Bronx and uh, Michael Spearman is absolutely fantastic the entire everybody who's part of, of Messiah is absolutely fantastic and I can't wait till we all get together to do this in person again so and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. <laughs> Oh. 
I'm Assemblyman Jeffrey Dinowitz, and I represent the Northwest Bronx. I have lived in the Bronx my entire life. I'm a proud and longtime supporter of both the Orchestra of the Bronx and the Bronx Opera. Thus saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts, yet once a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come. The Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. But who may abide the day of his coming, and who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire.
My name is Michael Kofales, owner and manager of the Bedford Cafe. Just wanted to wish everybody a happy and safe holiday season. And he shall purify the sons of Levi, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. My name is Daisy Rodriguez. I'm the Director for Government and Community Affairs at the Wildlife Conservation Society, based out of the Bronx Zoo. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, God with us. Or thou that tellest good tidings to Zion, get thee up into the high mountain. Or thou that tellest good tidings to Jerusalem, lift up thy voice with strength, lift it up, be not afraid, say unto the cities of Judah, behold your God. Or thou that tellest good tidings to Zion, arise, shine, for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee.
I just really want to say thank you to the Bronx Opera, to Michael and Leslie for your commitment to the community, uh, to doing this every year. Uh, it means a lot and uh, I'm thrilled to be part of it. And I know that uh, all the people I represent appreciate it. So thank you. Have a very Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and a very safe and healthy New Year. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come by thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light, and they that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. <laughs>
Dr. Ruth Westhane. Happy holidays to all of you. I love the Bronx. I taught at Lehman College. I got an honorary doctorate from Lehman College. And every year I do work with the opera. This year, no exception. Listen carefully. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace.
I'm Valerie Capers, and I live in the Bronx. I love the Bronx. I've lived my whole life in this borough. And that's why I'm so happy to be here with Maestro Spearman and the Bronx Orchestra and Chorus and my neighbors who are joining me in the reading of the biblical text of this wonderful work composed by George Frederick Handel, the Messiah. All of us here wish all of you out there a happy holiday season and a healthy, happy, and prosperous new year. There were shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth, goodwill towards men.
Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is the righteous Savior, and he shall speak peace unto the heathen. I'd like to thank the Bronx Opera Company and all the folks who put this event together every year. I've been very fortunate to participate for a number of years 
I really appreciate you allowing me to participate. And uh, I think it's the start of the uh, holiday season in the Bronx with this event. Thank you. His yoke is easy and the burden is light. Behold the Lamb of God, who taketh away the sin of the world.
Hello, I'm Rita Putnam. I'm the Music Program Officer at the New York State Council on the Arts, a state agency supported by tax dollars. I'm happy to say that the Bronx Opera has been a grantee of ours for many years, and it, it is one of the main components of the opera world in New York City and in New York State and nationally. In addition, its marvelous director and founder, Michael Spearman, is, is a very old friend, and he is prized widely for his wonderful intellect and his tremendous heart and his devotion to the Bronx. And I'm honored to know him and to know the company and to be here tonight. Hmm? He was despised and rejected of men a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. He gave his back to the smiters and his cheeks to them that plucked off the hair. He hid not his face from shame and spitting.
Hello. Hola. My name is Daisy Coco de Filippis, and I am the interim president of Hostos Community College. But more importantly, I am a lifelong opera fan. My husband and I have had season tickets at the Met for many, many years. I am so honored to join you as a fellow opera enthusiast. I would also like to wish everyone watching this beautiful performance a peaceful and safe holiday season. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Happy Holidays! I'm Oliver Coppell, former Assemblyman, Councilman, and Attorney General of New York State. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all.
Hi, my name is Diane Strom, and I'm really so happy to be part of this performance tonight of The Messiah. I grew up in the Bronx, I live in the Bronx, I work in the Bronx, and I'm so pleased to see that the Bronx and BronxNet will benefit from this performance. Um, I work at Bronx Care Health System, formerly known as Bronx Lebanon Hospital Center, um, in the Department of Pediatrics, where we've been bringing programs to children and families and caring for them for many, many years. Also, I work at Lehman, where I teach in the Departments of Social Work and Health Sciences. I've seen firsthand how families have been suffering since the beginning of the COVID epidemic. I'm so glad that tonight they will have an opportunity to enjoy this performance, keeping up the tradition that was started many years ago. Thank you again. All they that see him laugh him to scorn. They shoot out their lips and shake their heads saying, he trusted in God that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him if he delight in him. They shoot out their lips and shake their heads, saying, I'm Dan Lemons and I'm the president of Lehman College. Very pleased to be a part of this Messiah performance. Messiah has always been a very important prelude for me for this season. From the time that I was young, I remember the very famous choruses and the, the parts of the Messiah that are familiar to most of us. Thy rebuke hath broken his heart. He is full of heaviness. He looked for some to have pity on him, but there was no man, neither found he any to comfort him. 
he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgressions of thy people was he stricken. Thou didst not leave his soul in hell, nor didst thou suffer thy Holy One to see corruption. I'm Michael Max Nobby of BronxNet Television. Happy, healthy holidays and more. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty? The Lord mighty in battle? 
Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Season's greetings. I'm Brian Glover, Deputy Director of Grants and Programs at the Bronx Council on the Arts. Founded in 1962, the Bronx Council on the Arts is a pioneering advocate for cultural equity, committed to the values of community, service, and inclusivity. We seek to strengthen the cultural ecosystem of the Bronx by nurturing its artists and arts organizations. We're proud to be supporters of organizations such as the Orchestra of the Bronx, who've served the community for years as well as many new and emerging artists and arts organizations providing a diversity of programming throughout the borough. Why do the nations so furiously rage together? Why do the nations imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. Mm -hmm. Oh! 
My name is Senator Jose M. Serrano, and I am chair of the Senate Committee on Cultural Affairs. I would like to wish you and your loved ones a safe and enjoyable holiday season. It is such a pleasure to be with all of you today for this wonderful annual tradition. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Maestro Michael Spearman and the Bronx Opera for continuing to celebrate the rich cultural, musical, and artistic history of our beloved Bronx. And with that, it gives me great honor to say these beautiful words. Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth, hallelujah. The kingdom of this world is become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever, King of kings and Lord of lords.
Good afternoon. My name is Vincent Amendola, and I am a proud resident of the Bronx and one who has served as a Catholic school teacher in the Archdiocese of New York for many, many years. It's always been a pleasure, a privilege, and an honor to participate in this presentation of Handel's Messiah. Please enjoy our presentation. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. For now Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of them that sleep.
Thomas Sekenegui, President of Bronx Community College. Compliments of the season and happy holidays to all of our viewers. Since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam, all die. Even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Merry Christmas, everyone. My name is Henry Obagis, and I'm the Associate Director for Lehman Stages at Lehman College. The Lovinger Theater at Lehman College has served as Bronx Opera's performance home since the early 1980s, and I've been the proud steward of that relationship for nearly 20 years now. I look forward to what's to come in the years ahead for both Bronx Opera and Lehman Stages. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. The trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed.
Hi everybody, my name is Lori Cumbo. I am the majority leader for the New York City Council, and I'm also a council member representing Fort Greene, Clinton Hill, Prospect Heights, Crown Heights, and parts of Bedford-Stuyvesant. Yay, Brooklyn! And I couldn't be more proud to have been invited back to the Bronx Opera Company for my second year in a row of the Messiah. I have been a part of the Bronx Opera Company since before I was born. My mom was one of the original performers in the Bronx Opera Company with Michael Spearman, and they were great friends and still are, and I've been hearing the stories of Michael Spearman and the Bronx Opera Company my whole life. So to be able to be here, to be a part of the Messiah, is so historical and so special, and it's an opportunity for us to continue to create memories um, that are going to last with us a lifetime. So thank you, Michael, and thank you to the entire Bronx Opera Company for inviting me back. I will be reading today from the Messiah, and this is really a true honor, and thank you so very much. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain and hath redeemed us to God by his blood to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. Amen.
thanks so much for being a wonderful part of this year's presentation of Handel's great oratorio, Messiah. We want to wish all of you a happy, healthy, and safe holiday season. I want to say, join Michael in saying thank you to you for watching this year's performance with us. On behalf of all of our faculty and students, thank you very much and have a very happy holidays. Maestro Spearman, President Iskanebgi, on behalf of the BronxNet family, we wish you and your family a happy, healthy, blessed holiday season and new year. Keep Bronx and all cities strong.